Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to deal with factorial notation. Okay, let's start. Okay, what do we mean by factorial? Okay, so it is the process of multiplying consecutive, decreasing, positive integers. Okay, so positive integers um, start with 1. Okay, those are our counting numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. Okay, consecutive means magkakasunod. Okay, and then decreasing, pababa. Okay, let me give you an example of consecutive, decreasing, positive integers. We can have 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, pwede ring 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so ganun la. Okay, so this is our notation for factorial. We have this, okay? And... And then an exclamation point. Your N here is a whole number. Okay? So, how do we read this? It is read as N factorial or factorial of N. Okay? So, how do we get the value of N factorial? So, ganito yon. Like this. Diba? Sabi natin factorial is the process of multiplying, ayan o, okay, multiplying of consecutive, so magkakasunod na decreasing positive integer. So hanggang maubos siya down to 1. Okay? So let me give you a specific example. Okay? So if you have 5 factorial, so your n is equal to 5. So isasubstitute nyo lang yung 5 dito. 5 times so what is 5 minus 1? 4. So you have 5 times 4 and then 5 minus 2, 3. Nakita nyo? So you have 5, 4, 3, and then 2, 1. So ganun lang. You just get the product like this. Ganun lang siya. Ganyan lang ang factorial. And of course, you need to get the product. Okay? You do the arithmetic and you will get what? What is 5 times 4? 20. 20 times 3, 60. 60 times 2, you get 120. And you'll have that. Okay? I know most of you will use um, calculators to get the value of 5 factorial. But you know what? I suggest try not to use calculators. Okay? Para ma-practice din ang arithmetic skills ninyo. Because you're going to use it um, when you take entrance tests. College entrance tests in the future because most college entrance tests do not allow um, the use of calculators okay lastly we have an important note here do not forget that zero factorial is equal to one okay it's a definition do not forget that of course one factorial is also equal to one let's try some examples and Try not to use a calculator here. Okay? By the time na ma-publish ang video na ito, okay, this channel has um 1,000 subscribers already. Okay? So, I think it's a great milestone for a YouTube creator like me. Okay? So, thank you kids for supporting this channel. Okay? So, let me tell something about myself. Okay? So, am I a math teacher? Of course, okay? That's why I'm creating math tutorial videos, okay? The next question is, am I a grade 10 teacher? No, I'm not, okay? I am a college professor, okay? I'm teaching in the Institute of Mathematics in this university, okay? Why am I telling you this, okay? Because... Walang access si Ma'am Tematician sa mga modules ninyo. Or kung magkakaroon ako ng access, late na. Okay? So that's why I'm giving you this email address where you can send in your module for the third quarter. And of course, for the fourth quarter. So I can guide you in your um, module. So far, 
may mga ilang copies na ako ng third quarter grade 10 module. Thank you to Allison and Kyle. So let's continue our discussion. Okay, first example. Okay, so if you take a look at this example, walang factorial itong 3. Okay, ito lang 4 ang may factorial. So you're going to have like this. Okay, you just copy 3. And then yung 4 factorial, ito yung isusulat mo in terms of decreasing positive integers. Okay, consecutive decreasing positive integers. So that's why we have 4, 3, 2, 1. And then you do the math. Okay, so you're going to have 4 times 3, you get 12. 12 times 2, you get 24. Like that. And 3 times 24, it's 72. Right? Okay, next example. Okay, this time, may factorial na yung 3. Right? So, you're going to have like this. Okay? And then, doing the arithmetic, again, please try not to use a calculator. This is 24. Okay? And then, this one is 6. 6 times 24, you will get 144. Okay? Let's try another one. Here. Okay? Division of factorial notations. Okay, what is 3 factorial divided by 4 factorial? So, pwede nyo namang i-expand siya like this. Okay, and then you cancel out all the common factors. Yeah, and then ang matitira na lang sa inyo is this, 1 fourth. Okay, pero I have a suggestion, may shortcut. Okay, ganito yon. Okay, so kung sino yung maliit, sino yung mas maliit, huwag nyo nang i-expand. Okay, isulat nyo na lang siya as is. Okay, so yung 3 factorial, mas maliit kesa dito sa 4 factorial. So, hindi na natin expand yung 3. Like that. Tapos yung 4 factorial, ganito siya. Instead of writing um 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, hanggang dito lang. 4 times, stop na. Kasi diba, ang 3, 2, 1, that's your 3 factorial. Right? So, stop na para magka-cancel out yung 3 factorial. You see? Mas mabilis. You'll get 1 fourth also. Okay? So, itong method na ito ang gagamitin natin in our next examples. Okay? Kasi mas mabilis siya and I want you to get this technique para mas mabilis kayo makapag-evaluate ng factorial notations. Okay? Let's continue. Okay. We have here 6 factorial divided by 8 factorial. Okay, warning. Baka akala ninyo, pwedeng mag-cancel out yung common factor. Di ba may common factor sila? 2, right? 6 divided by 2, it's 3. And then 4 divided by 2, it's 4. Baka akala nyo, ganito siya. Okay? Well, it's not. Okay? Huwag nyong gagawin niya. Okay? It's either you expand 6 factorial, what do I mean by that? You'll have 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, ganun din sa 8. Okay, or you may want to use the technique that I taught. Okay, ganito. Kung sino yung mas maliit, wag nyo nang evaluate So, si 6 factorial, hayaan nyo siyang ganyan. And then si 8, you write this as 8 times 7 times you stop na sa 6. Okay, 6 factorial na lang ang gagamitin ninyo. Okay? Like this. Okay? Para magka-cancel yung 6 factorial. And then, madali na, di ba? You just have 1 over 7 times 8, it's 56. So, you'll have this. Di ba? So, mas mabilis. Okay? Let's try more. O, ito rin. 11 factorial divided by 8 factorial. Okay? Si 8 factorial, hindi na natin siya i-expand. Si 11 factorial na lang. But, Magsa-stop na tayo sa 8. Like 11, 10, 9, and then we stop kay 8. Okay? So, like this. Okay? So, magka-cancel yung 8 factorial. And then you have 11 times 10. You have 110. Times 9, you'll get 990. Okay? More examples. Here. Okay? Madadali na to. Let me give you a warning. Hindi dinidistribute ang factorial over subtraction. Hindi to equal sa 10 factorial minus 7 factorial. That's a big no. 
Okay? Actually, you don't distribute factorial over addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Hindi siya din distribute Okay? So, paano yan gagawin? I-minus nyo muna to. What is 10 minus 7? 3. So, you're going to have 3 factorial. And then you evaluate it. Okay? It's 3 times 2 times 1. You will get 6. Okay? Ito. What is 15 minus 14 factorial? Here. Okay? It is 1 factorial. And what is 1 factorial? 1. Next example. What is 100 minus 100 factorial? Okay? So 100 minus 100 is 0. So we have 0 factorial. And again, what is 0 factorial? It is equal to 1. Okay? And then finally, we have this example. I made this video about factorial notation because gusto ko maging ready kayo dun sa next video natin, which is permutations. Okay? So for now, let's have this expression. So dalawa na yung nasa ilalim. So itong 6 factorial, ito na lang yung hindi ko i-evaluate. Okay? Itong 4 factorial, I'm going to write it as 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay? Tapos itong 10, magsustop siya sa 6. Okay? Like this. Okay? You see it? Para magka-cancel na yung 6 factorial. Okay? And then, we try to look for common factors and then try to cancel them out. For example, 4. Okay? Pwede mag-cancel out yan with 8, tapos si 8 magiging 2. Okay? Alin pa yung pwede? Si 3. Sino yung pwedeng ka-partner niya? Si 9. Right? Like this. Okay? Tapos si 9 magiging 3 na lang. Okay, kasi nag-cancel yung isang factor niya na 3. Nag-cancel with 3 here. And then finally, I think 2. Pwede siyang ka-partner ni 10. Like this. You see? So you just have 5 times 3 times 2 times 7 divided by 1. And what do you get? Tingnan nga natin. 5 times 3, 15. 15 times 2, 30. 30 times 7, 210. Divided by 1, it's 210. See? So, I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to like this video, share this video to your friends, and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.